Brian Willis. And of course, the word on the street played, and my favorite was Ikomash. I had some a bit of a mix of Swahili and English. So how is it pronounced? In the first place, we are talking about commercial transactions that are conducted on the internet, and that is electronically. So you say e-commerce, 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 no, you say e-commerce. And remember, this is about electronic commerce. So electronic is abbreviated as e, then you have commerce, just like e-trade. All right, Willis, and of course, speaking of e-commerce, uh, what exactly is the word B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S -S pronounced? I pronounce it as business. Uh, be, maybe you could pronounce it differently. Of course, this is the activity of trading to make profits, Willis. Yes, as an activity or a profession, you say business. But remember... When you are talking about the state of being busy, you now say business, business. But for trade, it's business. Business and business. Yes. All right, and Willis, it seems that most of our words today are dealing with business. Uh, and of course, the, this one, I've had so many people pronounce it differently. I would love you to maybe just shed some light. This is a person who steps up, a, 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 sets up a business with the hope of making profits. Is it entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur? I've oh. had so many, Willis. Ashley, that word is tricky, and it's a word which has been very popular on Mind Your Language or mind your pronunciations for that matter. Now, many people find themselves as saying entrepreneur, entrepreneur, which is not existing or existing in, in English. You say entrepreneur or entrepreneur, just like you say entrepreneur, yes, entrepreneur or entrepreneur. But remember, the American pronunciation begins with a uh, entrepreneur or entrepreneur. But what we should avoid is entrepreneur. All right, Willis, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. <laughs> You've confused me a bit, You Willis. can say nua or yes, na. Or na. Okay. That part N-E-U-R, you can say na with the long mid central sound a, uh, or you can say nua. Right. Entrepreneur or entrepreneur. Okay, Willis. And of course, in entrepreneurship, yes. uh, there are those customers who fail to pay um, what they or the entrepreneur. And of course, this is money that is owed and should have been paid earlier. Is it arrears? 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 Oh, you don't say arrears. Yes. You say arrears. Arrears. Just like salary arrears. Arrears. And actually, we should also remember that we don't say rear guard. Rear guard, no. You say rear guard. The rear wheels, yeah. not the rear wheels. R E A R, rear, not rear. And for our word, it's arrears. Okay, arrears, got it, Willis. Yes. Let's just move on. What is an informative paper document that can be folded into a template, pamphlet? or leaflet, uh, but before we get to that word, the, this word that is pamphlet, Willis, have I pronounced it right? Because I've heard people say pamphlet, yes. which is which, before we get to the initial word. Actually, pamphlet, very common, but inaccurate. You say pamph, the P and H function as a digraph, and a digraph is a combination of two letters representing one sound. So P and H represent the sound that is pamph, pamphlet, just like in the word photograph or phone. So don't say pamphlet, you say pamphlet the way you pronounced it. All right, Willis. What about the word itself? Yes. Is it brochure, brochure, brochure? <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> you've tickled me somewhere there when you talk of brochure, brochure. In fact, locally, many people find themselves saying brochure. Yes. But there are also those who say brochure. But what we should avoid is that chua, 
brochure, no. Brochure, no. You say brochure, brochure, but you can also say brochure. Brochure, brochure or brochure. Brochure. Yes. Brochure. Okay, well, yes. let's got it. Yes. What about a group of customers yes. of a certain business? Now, with this one, well, let's, I've had people say clientele, clientele. Uh, is it uh, which is which? Because um, I think it's cli clientele, clientele, right? <laughs> uh, you say clientele okay. when you are inclined to the American English, okay. clientele. But when we talk about the British English, you say clientele, clientele. clientele okay. but you can also say clientele with a weak sound O. Clientele or clientele. But saying clientele is not wrong. It's from the word client. So clientele is fine, Willis. It's acceptable. All right. There's this word, Willis. I won't even try pronouncing it. It's a middle class typically used with reference to feelings of materialism when describing the middle class. Let me just spell it out, Willis. B-O-U-R-G-E-O-I-S-I-E. Buzwazi? <laughs> Ashley, that is a tricky one. It's a word that can give you problems. In the first place, you say... Bu, uh, then joie, then zee, bourgeoisie. 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 bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. You have a stress on the final syllable, bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie. I was a bit, I was a bit close, well, let's say. Yes, that is, <laughs> bourgeoisie. That you are close to getting it. <laughs> but some words actually are very tricky because you see, like, this word is not basic English. Certain words are called loan words, borrowed from other languages, especially words from French you know, requires some knowledge of the French phonology, the sound system in French. In fact, with, uh, you know, in combination uh, with the orthography, that is the spelling system, understanding the way the spelling and the pronunciation is in French or any other word uh, that is borrowed from other languages. So this one is bourgeoisie, very bourgeoisie. tricky. Bourgeoisie, got it, Willis. So what other words do you have for us tonight? Oh, let me go straight to uh, the people who also love uh, this segment and sent in words. That is Phoebe Siele. Phoebe, not Feobe. Phoebe Siele of Molo, you say mausoleum. Mausoleum, not mausoleum. Mausoleum. Peter M. Karogo of Limuru, you say rapport, not rapport. Rapport, avoid that. You say rapport because T is silent. Sarah Anyango of Sondu, when your word is used as a verb, when it functions as a verb, you say record, to record music, to record. But as a noun, you say record, record. Now you say re, but as a verb, re, record, a noun, record. Now Michael Kibet, Michael Kibet and Samuel Onchari of KCB, you say Devour, devour. That word had also been asked about, uh, or we have also a question from Hilda Nyachiro. So Michael Kibet, Samuel Onchari, and Hilda Nyachiro, I believe also of KCB, you say devour. Mwalimu Zakina of Mombasa, Mwalimu Zakina of Mombasa, or you say cost, bay. Bay is cost, C-O-S-T. So many questions about cost and coast from Pwani. So you say cost when it is C-O-S-T, bay. But when you talk about that region, like where you live, you say coast. There is the slight vowel glide, O, coast, Pwani. Pinaina or Penina, that is locally, Kemboi. Pinaina, Kemboi, and Jato Francis, keep it up. This is KTN News, and you know when it comes to matters that is language on Friday or Friday night, just like this moment, you have the chance to learn the accurate or acceptable pronunciation. So Pinaina Kemboi and Jato Francis, thank you so much. Felix Asete of Nairobi, apnea, that is a medical condition, apnea. And you also say obnoxious, not obnoxious, obnoxious. Then you say aptitude. Sam Kipruto Bet of Eldoret, you say steak for both words. 
Words which are spelled differently but pronounced the same way, they are technically called homophones. So S-T-A-K-E, stake, and S-T-E-A-K, also stake. So such words are called homophones. Senator Robbie of El Danaba, Mandera. You have very big words, brother, but I think because maybe that is your line or your career goes with that. You say Sjogren's or Sjogren's syndrome, Sjogren's syndrome and Fiochromocytomia. Fiochromocytomia. A long one there. So you can try it if you're watching KTN. You say Fiochromocytomia. So there you are. Nganyi David of Kisumu, poverty. Then we go straight to the surprise word for tonight. Can you try it at home, our dear viewer? Can you try to pronounce this word? I'm giving you only two seconds to try. Well, you say merchandise or merchandise. Merchandise or merchandise. So it ends in the voiced sound z, or you can also end with the unvoiced sound s. You say merchandise or merchandise. And I know Mwangi Maina must be catching such words because I discovered he's also very keen on that. And I always call him Mr. Producer. So Mwangi Maina, keep it up with all those people who love good English, coming to them from KTN News every Friday night. Now, we have confusing words. We have these three words. If they were Kiswahili words, you may find yourself saying awe, ewe, and owe. But these are English words. I'm saying if they were Kiswahili words because Kiswahili, most, in Kiswahili, most words are pronounced the way they are spelled. But that is not the case in English. The first word is o. They looked at the whole scene or scenario in o, in o. That is A-W-E, O. You can see the transcription, what we call the phonetic transcription. The second word, a female sheep. You say you, a you, not an ewe, not an ew. When you come to the third word, that is the word below, you say O, oh, to owe somebody money. So these confusing words, you should always get them right. O, you, O, O. So such words, especially in careers of serious communication, you need to get them right so that you communicate clearly, not vaguely. Now, finally, it's a chance for you also to understand or to know the phonetic or sound symbols. We have the mid-central sound, uh, not the mid-central sound, uh, I beg your pardon. This is the long, open, or low front sound, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I ma must make that clarification. It is the, the open or low front sound ah, uh, the long one. Just like in the word part, the part played by so and so. On my part, so when you hear somebody dragging a bit, that is for this word, part, because of the long open or low front sound ah. Uh. When you come to this part, you'll realize that the phonetic symbol that we have atop is the long sound O. That is the representation of the long sound O. Just like in the word port, port, it's different from port. And up to that point, if you want to interact with me any further, that is throughout the week that is ahead of us, you can always get everything at Willis Ocheng one that is the Twitter handle back to Nairobi. Thank you very much, Willis. And of course, good night, Willis. I'll see you next week, same place, same time. <laughs> right, Jesse, so you need to pay up. I haven't forgotten about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maswahili only said, my hardy did any. No problem. <laughs> oh, no, this one was not a hardy. Uh -uh. You can't bring some metallic. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you very much for watching Friday Riffing. This is where we come to a close. It's always a pleasure to have you with us. Yes, it is a pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And let's meet next Friday, same place, same time. My